using watching a movie here and there is not gonna hurt you, right? It's actually a way for you to rest, right? I completely understand why you would think that. I used to be exactly the same. When I discovered self-improvement, for the first months, I would watch these influencers and get astonished at their results, at the progress they were making. After around three months of trying my best every day, I was failing to keep up the habits these influencers were teaching me to do. I would hear how guys like Alex Harmozy, Iman Gaji, Hamza, Andrew Tate would all say they can easily work 80 hours per week. And I was failing to work at least 20 hours per week. And I was, I would think, what the fuck? How are they doing it? I was not seeing a lot of progress in my journey. I started to grow bitter and envious. Negative thoughts crept up on me. They're probably just lucky to become popular. And they make their money through these programs that don't actually work. They're just coming people. Despite my bad mental health, I still continue to try my best every day. After three years of ups and downs, I can proudly say that now I can work, if not 80, at least 60 hours per week. I build the physique I wanted. I build a lot of impressive habits. I journal and meditate every day. And I'm proud of myself. Bro, if you're watching this video, this is your reminder to not lose hope. I know how bad it can become. I know how bad it feels, but you need to continue. It's a matter of time and consistency before you reach your potential. It might take years. Expecting fast results would be equivalent of you entering the gym for the first time, training for two months, and then expecting to bench 350 pounds, which is 140 kg, if I'm not mistaken. Most people take years to achieve these numbers. You can't do it in two months. I'm sorry. Now I see that my frustration with influencers and online gurus was more the result of my insecurity and deep envy. So now I see that guys like Iman Gaji, Alex Hermozi, Hamza and Andrew Tate actually work 80 hours per week. Maybe even more. They follow every habit they teach because they just, they just have to. Otherwise, someone will take everything they have. Competition among men is crazy. And you probably underestimate how fierce is your competition. So now back to the question. Is it actually worth, let's say, to watch one movie per week? It all depends on your goals. If you want to live a mediocre life or even slightly better than average lifestyle, buying a house and that's it, then it's completely fine for you to do the movie watching such as but if you want to excel all areas of life, build a successful business, build a Greek God physique, be the best friend, the best husband, the best father you can be. If you want to enter top 1% of men, then I must say to you, it's not okay to watch even one Because if you're doing this action, your competitor, imagine a guy who is trying to build the same kind of business you are trying to do. Let's say you want to open a copywriting agency. This guy is also trying to open a copywriting agency. But while you sit and watch a fucking movie, he's putting in his best effort, try to destroy you. Debating, oh, both of you will have successful business. Ask yourself, why is it that gold medalists at the Olympic Games receive all the recognition in the world? They get the best sponsors. They become the country's hero. Everyone talks about them. While the guy who got the silver medal doesn't receive even half of the recognition that the gold medal guy receives. He doesn't get no apartments, no fancy cars from his governments, no fancy sponsorship deals. They both showed remarkable achievement. And the second guy, the silver medal guy, was one point. 0.1 second behind him. He did almost exactly the same work, but maybe six months ago, he indulged himself in alcohol and junk food. Maybe four months ago, he, he skipped his training sessions for three days. And one hour per week is actually a lot of time. It's just it's a mess. One hour per week is four hours per month. 56 hours per year. 
over 500 hours in the span of 10 years. 500 hours is a lot of training. You can literally learn another language in that time frame. You can learn all sorts of skills in this time frame. This 500 hours of work is probably what is gonna make the difference between your successful version and the current version. One more question you might have is, then bro, how do I rest? I can work all the time. The issue probably lies in the way you think about the concept of rest. Average people, normal people, have another understanding of the concept of rest than successful people. Like, successful people actually enjoy working hard. They can't wait to wake up the next day and work. They, more often than not, are in the intense monk modes where they work hard every day for four months straight. They take no days off, no weekends. After four months, they take the two week vacation and not the kind of vacation you think about. They probably leave their devices such as laptops and phones in their homes and rent a house near the beach, far away from the city and from the people. That's how your brain will literally relax. By the end of their work mode, they actually can easily continue to work more because they enjoy it. But they know it's better to take one or two weeks off in order to increase your total productivity in the long term. Like if they take rest now, their body will be recovered to do another monk mode. And by watching a movie, you're actually not even resting because it's simulating your brain. After a long day of working hard, do you think simulating your brain further for two hours straight is going to make it rest? You enjoy it just because it produces a lot of dopamine and it's an easy task to do, not because you need to rest. It's actually going to require from you the same amount of energy as probably just studying or working on your business. Yes.